What's up, man, gamers? Welcome uh, to today's video, guys. In today's video, we're talking about how to beat man-to-man -man coverage from the Philadelphia Eagles uh, team is who we're using this week, but we're actually using the Seattle uh, Seahawks offensive playbook. And today we're focusing specifically on beating man-to-man -man and cover two defenses. So typically you'll face two men under, stuff like that. Now what's interesting, guys, about this is with all of our plays and things like that, we can actually get to the single back snugs in our throughout our quick audibles. And so the play that I like to use to beat man-to-man -man coverage is the Hawks halfback wheel or the wide receiver corners. Now you see the only difference is you get a post route in the Hawks halfback wheel, whereas in the corners you don't. Okay, so you, it's uh, whatever you want. I like the Hawks halfback wheel probably best. Now, what I like to do with this is I will use the motioned out hitch route uh, to really kind of take advantage of that uh, one route, one avenue of, of way to play the game. So I'll typically take Brent Selleck, I'll put him on like a hitch route. I'll take Jackson and I'll put him on a hitch route and I'm going to motion to Sean and then I may put like Macklin on an in or a curl or something like that. I'm going to motion to Sean Jackson out. Once he starts to set up, I'm going to snap it just like last week and I threw the wrong button there. Sorry about that. And then we're just going to snap throw it. Now you'll see this beats man. It also beats a variety of other coverages, but uh, it's mainly for man to man and you just swerve him up and try to make a user catch. Now the only problem and the only thing about this being a man beater and this being an under center formation is it's a little bit harder to master the quick throw from it. Once you master it, it's really effective. But as you mean, as you saw there, there's a user catch click on ability. So that's the first read on this play. And um, the second read, and, and now that I think of it, I want to smart route both hitch routes to Macklin and Ma uh, Selleck. And then the second read on this would be uh, a quick seamless transition to Brent Selleck over here. If they're maybe using that route or if that route gets pressed by a cover two flat zone, then you might uh, want to hit Brent Selleck over the middle. And now the next read on this is a quick seamless transition to the other hitch on the other side of the field. Another thing that you can do there if you maybe don't want to run two hitch routes, two of the same route on one play, um, you can put you can maybe put him on an in route. And so this will be what the in route would look like. It doesn't beat man that well, but it beats zone really well. So, you know, it's up to you what you want to do since this is a man beater. I would say put him on a curl or a hitch, but that's my personality. Um, you know, you could do whatever you want. And then our final read is going to be this really deep uh, post route pass lead down the inside, click on, user catch it, beats man to man. Now we're going to show you this against cover two because oftentimes cover two man under is looks exactly like a cover two zone. So we want to show you how to beat both um, to make this the most effective uh, you know play that it can be. Okay, so first and foremost, this route to Sean Jackson typically will be wide open against cover two unless he gets pressed. And if he gets pressed, you want to get out of it. Okay, so that's that. Here we'll show it to you. I think this will try to get you an example here of, of a situation where he might get pressed. Okay, so here you might get pressed. Let's see. See, we try to throw it, and Sherman does a little better job because he's down in the flats, so you wouldn't want to throw it there. But the defense is much more vulnerable in other areas against a cover two. Okay, so some of those areas might be the middle of the field. Okay, oftentimes when you're facing a cover two, this little in route to Jeremy Macklin is often wide open over the middle. Okay. Next thing that uh, I really like about this, this this Brent Selleck route is going to open up this route to uh, Riley Cooper over the middle. The hitch route's going to hold. Uh, those defenders there, and we can kind of seam, uh, pass lead it up and get it in the seams. If you, you know, obviously if he doesn't go to, if he goes with Riley Cooper, then you would want to hit, you would want to hit Brent Selk over the middle. So you see how this play works off each other and things like that. Cool part also is that the Hawks halfback will is in your quick audible stock. So you could use that if you wanted to, um, you know, kind of go back and forth between both of those different plays and also you have this halfback dive which is really good as well as another 
avenue just to kind of keep them on us. But this formation is really good for beating man. And then one other nuance that you can do a lot of this is take Jackson here on this play, put him on a smart run to hitch, take um, Macklin and put him on a drag, motion him about five steps to the outside, snaps back inside, and we can throw an inside pass leading nice you know, little uh, catch there from Macklin. So that's how we beat man-to-man -man coverage out of the Seattle playbook, guys. And tomorrow we're going to show you how to beat zone out of the Seattle playbook.